horror movies. They're not just for ingenues anymore. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Sinister. Yes, Ethan Hawke has had a long and respected career, so what's he doing starring in Sinister? Well, considering the current popularity of horror films and how much money they're scaring up at the box office, it's a choice gig. Even Oscar nominee and critical darling Jessica Chastain stars in the upcoming Mama. And just like Chastain, Hawke sure could use a box office win to go along with all that praise and respect. And Sinister does have a respectable horror pedigree. It's written and directed by Scott Dickerson, the guy behind the exorcism of Emily Rose, who's returning to the genre after a serious misfire directing the remake of The Day the Earth Stood Still. Furthermore, Sinister is produced by Jason Blum, who also produces the Paranormal Activity franchise and Insidious. And while the very next weekend, Paranormal Activity 4 is undoubtedly going to eviscerate Sinister at the box office, the letter still has a shot at being a solid earner like Insidious. So, can Sinister stand out in a very crowded horror genre and help Ethan Hawke's career to boot? Let's go find out. Sinister, does it stand out from all the other horror movies? Mm, not really. No? It's just the basic slasher movie. I could see it sort of being a hybrid of Insidious and Paranormal a little bit. Uh, I liked Insidious. How, how does this compare to those films? Uh, Insidious was better. Definitely you know, the first paranormal activity I think is the best one. The best one? It plays with the imagination. Oh, I see. Uh, and I think that's the best tool any director can use, especially with horror films. When they get too literal, sometimes it takes away. I, I think it's between this one and Insidious. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about you? Uh, they're all boring. They're all boring? What kind of horror movies do you like? His, his reflections. <laughs> Now, what kind of horror movies do you like? Do you like The Shining um, better, stuff like that? Or do you no, like... Um, demonic. Demonic. Oh, so you like the like the poltergeist, the possession films, the, like the exorcism of Emily Rose, right? I would say probably the first half of the film is kind of slow a little mm -hmm. bit. So it's just like, okay, all right, let's get to yeah, it. Come you know, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, we know what you're. We know what you are. Yeah. Oh, sinister. I'm here to see a horror film. Yeah, let's, let's get do it. to it. Let's get to some killing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Do they make up for yeah. it at the end in the second half, or? They do. They kind of do more some psychological stuff, or yeah. whatever. But uh, it's definitely a lot of the like jumps and stuff like that. I mean, they had a, an original story. What made you go and see it today? I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> did it do its purpose? Did it serve its purpose? Did it fill your your day, or did you feel you should have seen something else? No, it filled my day. What did you think of Ethan Hawke? I thought he actually did a pretty good job. Like, um, he does a lot of suspense movies and thriller movies, but I think this is one, like, kind of topped all of them. Oh, wow. Yeah? How do you yeah. think he did? He looks weird. Yeah? <laughs> so that was the scariest thing to you. And I must say, I love the soundtrack for this. Whoever, um, I don't know who did the soundtrack, but I'm going to research that. Are you going to get it? I am. What do you give it on a 1 to 10? Uh, uh, 7. From 1 to 10, I'll give it about a 7. Two? Okay. How about you? Um, I think I broke the record. I give it like a 12. So it sounds like unless you're a huge horror fan, you might want to wait for Paranormal Activity 4 next weekend, or maybe Insidious 2 further down the line, as audiences overall give Sinister a 6.5. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.